Do you ever wonder what actually goes on in a day of a front-end developer or in a day of a software engineer? I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what my day is like at work after the intro. See you guys in a second. I know, man, I'm actually uploading two videos, two days in a row. I'm back, but today what I want to talk about is actually what goes on a day in the life of an actual developer. And um, you know, I, I, I've done some videos kind of like this, but I've never done a particular video on what it is that actually goes on in my day. And so I figured I'd make a very short video for you guys right now and I talk about what goes on from my morning to the moment I leave and what goes on during that time and things like what goes on even during my lunch. First of all, I do work from nine to five. I don't work that far. Actually, I used to work about 45 to 50 minutes away, sometimes an hour away depending on traffic in my company. We actually moved to a new building, which is actually 30 minutes closer to my house, which is perfect. So I am supposed to be at work at 9. Sometimes I arrive at 8.30. Sometimes I arrive early. But a lot of times nowadays, as in recently, I've actually been arriving around 9.15, 9.30. And it's kind of cool because I am paid salary. And, you know, because of that, I'm not saying that I could go to work late. It's not good to be late, but I don't feel that pressure anymore, which is one of the great things about being a programmer. Because usually it is okay to come in a little late as long as you get your job done. So what happens, man? I go to my work. I go to my office. First thing I do when I go to my office, some people do get coffee, but what I usually do is I go in the office, first thing I do is go to the kitchen, get my up energy drink. I got one right here, right? I got my other one that I haven't opened right here. I actually left this in my car. One thing that's interesting about me is that I actually don't really eat outside of work. I tend to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at my office. And so my fridge is actually stacked of all the food that I usually eat. And most of the things in the fridge are actually mine. So, yeah, so I go to work and sometimes I eat my oatmeal. I'll prepare some, you know, uh, vegan nuggets with some, um, you know, green beans. And when I get to the office, because I use my, my personal MacBook Pro at work, I set up everything at work. For example, I'll, set, I'll connect it to my monitors. I do have one of my keyboards here, my mechanical keyboard, Razor mechanical keyboard. I love this keyboard, man. I'll put the link in the description below if you want one. I'll connect my headphones to my computer. And the first thing I do is I do check my emails. A lot of people have a to-do list. I don't really have a to-do list at work. A lot of things that I work on at my office is that I, I base everything off on the oldest email. I try to get the oldest emails done first and then I go to the newest ones, unless the new ones are urgent. So I, I, I try to evaluate what I need to get done today. What can I get done today? And so what is it that I do for a living, first of all? And I can't believe I skipped that. I am a front end software engineer. I'm a front end web developer. I'm a front end developer, whatever you want to call it. I'm a front end web engineer. Some people have different names. Technically, all those titles do the exact same thing. We work with code in the front end aspect, meaning what you see on the website is what I do. Right? I make it function. Not anything with data, I don't necessarily do that. I can transfer data through Ajax from page to page and etc. But I make what you see on the page look nice and that's what I do for a living. I work for a company where we do a lot of processing. Also, I work for a company where a majority of the things I work on are like, you could say e-commerce pages, payment pages, shopping carts, you know, registration pages, donation pages. And that's what I work on a living. So I don't make pages from scratch from morning to night every single day. I actually, we have a template we ha we, that we work on that we already built, right? It's a mobile friendly and I build around that. And I can build a page from scratch and I talk about that later. I do make static pages as well. And so I go into office, check my emails and I begin working a lot of HTML. I work on things, for example, maybe someone wants to add an item to the cart, I'll add that item to the page. Let's say, for example, someone, you know what, they updated the website because I make the e-commerce pages. I have to make that e-commerce page match the website. They'll send me either their, their rough draft website or the sliced up PDF, and my job would be to imitate that site so that when people leave that client's website to go to, to, go to our secure e-commerce page, they won't even realize it. It's like having your own website and going to a page was like PayPal. When you go to PayPal, you already know that you're paying everything on PayPal. Well, guess what? what we do is differently. We do stuff like PayPal, but what I do is that I make people not even realize they're leaving the website site to go to a secure page like mine because I imitate it, which is not easy, man. It actually takes time. I'll do a lot of manipulating the DOM with some, you know, JavaScript as well, jQuery, I'll do some jQuery as well. When I'm not busy with HTML, when I get all my projects done, when it gets slow, what I actually do at work is I'm actually transitioning, converting our jQuery, our JavaScript to VJS because that's what we're converting to that framework, which is pretty cool too. Um, what else do I do at work is that I answer a lot of emails and I'll occasionally have to schedule appointments with clients where I'll actually talk to them on the phone. This isn't the main part of my job, but sometimes a client 
isn't really able to explain what it is that they actually want. And so because they're not able to type it out in the email what they want, I'll have a meeting with them, you know, and they'll give me a call or I'll give them a call and we'll talk what they want and I'll tell them what is actually feasible, what is possible for the amount that we're actually charging them. And you know, they're, they're very simple things like that. Uh, what else? Other things that you could be working on, I'll work on static pages where I'm actually building a page from scratch and uh, which are things that I could do. And if it gets really slow, maybe I'll even work on a little bit of PHP. And so generally what I do every day it's pretty much the same, right? I'm building pages with HTML, CSS, a lot of CSS, a lot of HTML, building a page, actually doing a lot of custom JavaScript. For example, if you select a certain option, a drop down, do this. If it doesn't do this, then do that. And I'm building shopping carts where you have to add up the total, subtract from the total. When they check something, when they uncheck something, when they select an option, or when they enter a specific value into an inbox, and you're adding all that together, including the processing fees, including the taxes, and putting all that together with the shipping. And it's a lot of manipulating. Um, the dom and that's generally honestly what i do every single day um and on my lunch breaks you know we could go to lunch pretty much anytime uh, today we went to lunch at 2 p.m yesterday i went to lunch at 11 30. the other day i went to lunch at 12 and you know there's no set schedule on what time we're allowed to go to lunch we go to lunch when we're hungry we tend to go to lunch together as a team um or actually quite a bit of time quite a few times i'll actually go to lunch on my own because as you see majority of my videos are in my car like now but when I'm on my lunch break, that is when I tend to record my videos. Um, and if you look at all my past videos, it's always here in my car because I'm on my lunch break, I don't have a lot of time to shoot. And then after work, or if I shot the previous day, I'll edit during that break too. And so, you know, I mean, there's a lot of freedom. Uh, right after work, I'll start edit videos like this, or, you know, I'll go to the gym, or I'll, you know, hang out with friends or go to church and really that's really all i do every day there's not as much as you think it's not as complicated as you think and actually quite a few of the times i forgot to mention during work i'll actually plan out what is it i have to do because before you can code you have to realize what is it you're building the scale that you're building it at and how you can put it all together make sure it works flawlessly and also one thing i forgot to add is that i'm always solving bugs that is what you do for a living as a developer in the front end or back end software engineer front end developer whatever it is what you do every day is that you solve bugs that is what you do for a living but yeah i hope that generally helps uh, it's not like one of the intricate videos that i usually shoot but this is a very simple video i want to make for you guys so i can make sure I upload as consistently as possible but anyway guys if you have any questions post in the comment below and i'll make sure i answer it if not join my discord channel i'll put that link in the description below it's very active this discord channel is blowing up this channel is blowing up and on discord you could dm me directly to me or just join that channel go in the lounge or help channel and just ask for help and there are a lot of developers on there who can help you out too so thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. It's Life for a Developer. And if you can, like this video. If not, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace out.